Keith, KG's Garage. Today we're working on a blower, leaf blower. Two things happened. The first thing was that it wasn't starting. <clears throat> Kept pulling it, started, whatever. Usually, usually this thing starts up on. What you do is you, with everything off, pull it three times, uh, turn the switch on. You would turn this to up. That's off. Yeah, we'll put it off. Switch that to on to up. Turn the choke on over here, and you just do pull it once. It would start right up. No problem. Every time. So it wasn't starting. We couldn't get this thing started. I was like some something, something's wrong. Then I noticed that the coil wire was pulled out, and <clears throat> I tried to repair it. It's still, there we go. It's still broke. <laughs> There's just a little spring in here, and I noticed that the way the spring's supposed to mount, it's not working anymore. And this wire is now, I think I've repaired it like, this would be the third time, so this wire is now too short. So I don't think it's giving enough, a good enough spark. Uh, the other thing that happened was, after I put it back together, try to start it, I pulled the cord to start it, and it ripped right off. <clears throat> it broke. This thing's about... I gotta say maybe five, six years old, and this is the original cord. So I wasn't I wasn't upset. I was like, okay, it broke. And I looked, you can go get another cord. I looked online, went to my favorite place, Amazon, and I just bought a whole nother pull start deal. And also for the spark plug, I couldn't find just a wire. I know it's probably just a wire, but actually, after I bought this, I realized I needed to do the whole thing anyway. Like I said, this, thing, this thing's five or six years old. And I, I mean, I haven't really done much maintenance on it. So I just got a whole other coil and it has a sparkler boot attached to it. it. So even if I did new wire, it's molded in to the ignition coil. So it, I wouldn't have been able to just replace the wire. I mean, I would have splice it. Who knows? Anyway. So that's what we're doing today. This looks pretty easy. Probably four bolts. This, I have no idea. I gotta take a bunch of stuff off um, to get to it. I'm trying to, I'm just undoing the, uh... come on. How long is this screw? There we go. Air filter. Oh, I gotta unscrew this. I gotta get behind there. I don't know how this, mounts looks like there's a, like two screws that could hold it here's a tip for you when you get cameras gopros this is a the one i'm using is the osimo action don't buy those cheap batteries you get like a three pack for about thirty dollars whatever they don't last this one i plugged it in it said 66 percent. i thought i had enough to video everything nope it's dying right now i'm at 10 percent now so i could go in the, i have to go get another battery and I'll be back and I'll finish this up. So there's two Allens underneath here that gets the gas tank off and take all of the lines, the fuel lines, these two fuel lines off of the carburetor. And then you have the vent line right here. Take that off, get the gas tank out of the way. I don't, I didn't, I wasn't sure on how to do this, so I did it before and now I'm showing you. There's an Allen key right here. Take that Allen key out, bolt, the cover comes off, and then here you have your coil. And here's the new coil. It looks the same. Okay, and then two more Allen bolts, one here. There's one here, one here. You take those off, and there's a connector right in here. Got to take that connector off somehow. And once I get to it, pull this out. Oh, I got to reuse this little. Oh my god, that's really hard. <laughs> uh, got to reuse this little bushing right here, and and just replace it. It's fairly simple. I'm. I'll be back in a second. 
All right, so it had this little gasket filler piece that goes right in there, goes right here. It was around here and you can see it has a sl slot here for the wires and then there's a hole but it was a solid hole so that means they put they slid this on before they put the boot on you know the broken boot that's was supposed to be here so what i do is i just cut it right here right there and now i should be able to put it on this one because otherwise i was thinking I, I could use like silicone i don't know but you know dirt will get inside there that, that's it's supposed to keep dirt from going in there so i'm gonna see if i can i can't slide it on i'm not taking this part none of this comes off so i'm gonna try to just push this on it like this and see if i can get it on there if this breaks then i'll go the silicone route it seems like it might flex enough that i can get get it over the the, ho the wire and then i'll be putting it in it just goes in like this and you put that wire back on here's the here's the two wires one wire goes on the bottom one wire goes here and then one wire was on the base i guess one's the ground so i'll show you when i'm back at that point uh i think i might have skipped filming this part uh i got the coil in there uh with cover Put the gas tank back on. Like I said, there's two Allen keys right underneath here to hold the gas tank. That was a little challenge, lining it up. Now I'm working on getting the coil starter. I'm just cleaning up a little bit here. Um, it's just these four bolts that are on the front here. And I'm just looking at the old one. And it looks, I don't know how it comes apart. I guess you unscrew this. It is kind of worn. Oh yeah, it's the, you know what? It actually is definitely worn. It's probably not that bad. But it looks like it would have been that it would have been pretty easy just to take this off, put a new uh, cord, and be done with it. But like I said, it, it is slightly worn over here. I don't think they're supposed to be on an angle. I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway, so this is the starter. So you take this and just put it on there and screw it on and we should be good. Okay, well, it's all back together. It will not start. I don't know why. <clears throat> I have pulled and pulled and pulled. Took the carburetor apart. Oh, I didn't take the carburetor apart. I took this, the air cleaner off, cleaned this out. I don't know what's going on with the carburetor. I took starting fluid, took the spark plug out, sprayed starting fluid right inside the piston. Still didn't start. Uh, I moved the ignition coil because it was hitting. I don't know what do you call it inside there and I moved it so it was a tiny bit of a gap <clears throat> that it's not hitting now it sounds better when I'm pulling it it won't uh, still won't start this thing I am NOT gonna recommend this starting I'm gonna either restring this one or get a OEM Shindawa piece because this piece of junk is already falling apart as i'm pulling it the, the cord is cutting through it's just going to break it it this little brown piece the first pull it this thing pulled right out this is what the brown piece is supposed to stop it from doing this it pulled right out okay I can't, can't do it with one hand and oh there you go see so I, and it, that pulled out and now it's destroying the whole case. So don't look for a link. Don't buy this one. I'm going to get another OEM replacement one. Probably the Shindawa one. This one feels a lot heavier too. Heavy duty. But you could also see that this part right here is still there. I don't know how this, I don't know how this one stays in. But it stays in a lot better than that brown piece. Anyway, I changed the parts out. 
won't run. I don't know why. There's got to be something else wrong. I don't know if there's some wiring or something. I did check the spark plug. It, it is getting spark. I, I don't know. It wasn't starting before, so there might have. I, there might be something else broken. It's just that I noticed the ignition coil was broke, and then the pull start broke. So I figured replace those. I can get it started, but I don't know. It's something else. Not much left to mess with. I don't know why it's not starting with just starting fluid. I would, I've never had anything not start with just putting starting fluid in. Um, pistons going up and down. The exhaust is spraying out when I'm pulling it. So it's... The, piston, the rod's not broke is what I was trying to get at. So I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. I, it's, it's a simple, simple thing. So anyway, I got to work on it more. Today... Taking apart this blower again. I don't know. Last you saw, it wasn't starting, and I replaced the coil and the which was the spark plug wire. And uh, I don't know what else I replaced. Oh, the pull start. I replaced the pull start. I um, found in my stash a like OEM one which is a lot better than the one that was on here. The one that was on here started destroying itself. The little uh, thing here popped out and then the cord was just cutting right into the casing. Uh, so this one is more like the original. That's the original one. And I tried to, and I mean, it's, it's heavy duty. It's, it's heavy duty plastic. It's good plastic. I tried to get another one because I like to have a spare all the time and this is no longer produced so I'm probably going to get a, a piece of string a rope put it in here re-rope this one and have this one as my spare but I still have I still have the rope you know the broken rope so I just gotta take it apart re-rope it and uh I'll have this as a spare and I'll keep the new one on here. And then when then, the, then when this one breaks, I'll have this one as a spare. Anyway, I have this whole thing torn apart. I'm trying to figure out why it won't start. It's getting spark. Obviously it's getting fuel. I sprayed fuel right into the cylinder and then put the plug in and it still won't start. So I think this gasket was bad. I mean, it's kind of like screwed up right there. I'll show you the new one. This is the new one and the old one so i don't know if it's chewed up right here if it was blowing out the side there's a lot of oil over here on this back side the gasket went in i believe like this uh so maybe it was blowing out head gasket was bad i don't know i'm going to put the new one on and hopefully here's the head i cleaned the head all up the head sits on there like this so this is the exhaust side this is the intake and this back part over here i cleaned it up a pretty i mean as best i could this over here was all dirty had all um oil all over it i checked this as best i could to see if there's any cracks in it i don't see any cracks i looked on the inside i cleaned the inside out i don't see any cracks so i think the head is still good i just think it was blown out of the gasket so I'm going to make sure it's all clean, new gasket, put the head back on there. I just don't know. I know on cars, you need to compress these rings. I don't know if it's going to go on there. I don't know. I'm hoping I can just slide it back on. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Let me uh, start putting it back together and see where it, what happens here. All right. So I tried to get the head on, the piston. Just trying to crunch those uh, rings in doesn't work. So what I wound up doing was just getting some zip ties. These are like normal whatever zip ties. I think if you had a big fat one, you'd probably be able to use one. And I just closed it on the um, on the rings. Zipped it on the rings. I got two, one one for each ring. I took a dead blow. So I had the I had the rings compressed put the head on there and i just softly just bang this on 
and then the zip ties went down and there you go and then I just took the zip ties off I had to take them on and off a couple times so I was using a screwdriver so I just you know I pry these open you can cut them off after or whatever you had to do to get the zip ties off but that's what I did and now oh the also the other thing I undid a bunch of these uh, I just I loosened this one up these here this holds the engine and all assembly onto the blower because it was hitting here I just needed a little bit more I just need a little more space here to pry it this way so I um you can see I have a allen key jammed in there and now I have to get the gasket to go in the right spot and then just put all the bolts in the bolts for the gas for the uh, head are these here some kind of allen head bolt it looks like stainless steel and it goes into the where the crank goes anyway I'm gonna get back, get it put back together um, and I'll take a compression test on it see if it looks good and then I'll put some fuel in it and see if it starts up all right well I'll be back when this is put back together all right I have the whole thing back together new gasket for the carburetor new head gasket you can't see everything's together and it still will not start I put uh, starting fluid sprayed it right into the air will not start so I, I don't know what the deal is I'm gonna end this chapter right now uh, the only other thing maybe this cheap uh, coil I got it's not putting out putting out enough spark the other one is Actually, the other one's still in the garbage can there. So maybe I'll pull the other one out. I'm not doing it now. I'll show it. It'll be another day. I just took this whole thing apart. I don't want to take it apart again. Uh, maybe I'll put the other one back in, the old one, and see how much spark comes out of it compared to what this one is. You know, I'll pull it, see what, see what kind of spark this one produces, put the other one in, just rig it up so it'll spark. The, the coil wire is broke on the old one. It's too short now see if it gives a hotter spark if it does give a hotter spark I'll get another ignition coil they're not that expensive um, maybe it's that maybe the, something screwed up with the carburetor I don't know I think I replaced this carburetor once already maybe it was so many years ago I don't who knows but carburetors are cheap too maybe that I'll, maybe I'll just do that I mean there's nothing else that is there is ignition coil <clears throat> and gas was it would be the carburetor so maybe we'll just buy another uh, uh, I'll test the ignition coil um, if the old one I think is good I'll get another ignition coil and then I'll just buy another carburetor the carburetors are less than $50 also I can get a whole new carburetor put it on there <sighs> or the other option which I don't want to do is bring us to a shop and just have them fix it but I don't know what else there is that, that they would replace the end the blocks not cracked there's no cracks in the engine and there's not much to this thing so who the heck knows I don't know um, it, maybe it's this wire over here the on wire maybe hmm I wonder if that's something maybe the switch isn't working the wire comes all the way over here it goes somewhere maybe that's not working but it does spark I don't, I don't know anyway I'm gonna tear it apart a different day I have other stuff to do so we'll get back to this and I will add on what happens to this this video all right we're back working on this thing I ordered a new carburetor for this thing it's the only thing I haven't replaced well I the only thing I haven't replaced this time but I got this new carburetor let's I'm trying to see if it matches up so it looks similar top looks fine 
this mixture screw is different right here these are straight down this one comes on a curve and then you have the two openings anyway I don't know there's not much to go wrong in these things but there's a little there's a diaphragm inside here maybe that goes bad and I think some stuff can get clogged up inside here so anyway I just they're cheap enough this is like $20 and they got all this other stuff too so it doesn't take that long to change this out already you can see I already got the gas tank out I'm going to just a couple allen keys a couple linkage and all this stuff comes off so that's what I'm gonna start doing and we'll replace this I might replace the spark plug too since they give you a new one let me take this all apart and I'll get back to when I have the um, carburetor back on and hopefully it starts we'll see all right surprisingly I haven't given up on this blower yet I'm gonna try one more thing uh, still won't start I changed the carburetor I changed the I had to change the ignition coil because the, the wire was broke change that I changed this broke I changed the starter new gaskets I took the whole thing apart check the cylinder everything looks fine it does get spark um, the next thing because I've been watching more YouTube videos I'm going to check I'm trying to get this thing over here I mean I had this whole thing apart I'm gonna take this off put a drill on here spin it see if, it, see if it can start that way because I've been trying to start pulling it I don't think it's gonna start I'm gonna pull a flywheel off and see if that's a problem everything else everything else looks fine so I haven't checked this so that's why I'm gonna check it some people said that maybe the um, keyway might break and the timings off so if that's the case maybe that sounds maybe that's why it sounds weird when I try to start it but I'm gonna pull the um, the pull start off try to start it with a drill if that doesn't work then I'm gonna start pulling off the the flywheel and see if that thing's messed up all right here we go so to get this cover off it's just four screws right so the covers off I don't flywheel's inside here this is I'm not sure about this now I might have to this doesn't look like some of the other blowers I didn't actually look at a Shindawa blower it was just other blowers so I might have to do more to get to the flywheel but there's fuel in here well I think there's I thought there was fuel in here let me look yeah there's fuel in here and make sure it's turned on it's turned on and to the drill there's a 14 millimeter and then I have this adapter that goes in the drill and then it has a 3h drive here so you can just so you can snap on a socket put it in there tighten it and then spin it that's on there go like this and see if it starts see it will not it's not starting it should start not starting so if I take this off that's on the crank flywheel looks like it's on the other side I might have to take the whole engine off oh my gosh I might have to take the whole engine off to get to the flywheel which is on the looks like on this model it's on the other side where the blower part is so back to the drawing board I'm gonna be back I gotta go look up some more videos <laughs> all right I'm not giving up yet I want to see if this if this timing's off because everything else should work I mean even if I pour gas right into the carburetor it still won't run okay I'm back I looked at some videos online I couldn't find one for a Shindawa to get to the flywheel but I did see other versions of backpack blowers and what I need to do is pretty much just take the whole freaking thing apart. The flywheel is on this side of the engine. So I'm just going to start unbolting things. It looks, I mean, this is a, this clamshell here 
it's held on by a whole bunch of screws. I don't know if I can just take all those off. All these off? I don't know. Some of them I can't get to. This backpack part is like the, the, the major part of it. Is This holds the whole thing. So I might have to get this off. It goes down here. It sits on it, right? The engine sits on it. I got to take all that off so I can get this out of the way. All right. Just like I thought, I took this one off. This one. So this one off here, here and here, and I took the gas tank off so the gas tank will stay with it. So the gas tank, it's not mounted, it's just hanging out there. So now I'm going to take off stuff, stuff from here. Take these, takes the guard off. I don't know what that does. Maybe that takes. No, I'm gonna start tearing these off and let's see where we get. So basically that's all I did was this was here, I just took all the screws off, took that cover off. There was four screws on here, took that off. There was a, a bolt on here. This guy, right? Hit it with impact came off now this is the flywheel i'm trying to get this off this is being a little bit of a pain i thought i could get behind it and try to pry it but to do that i'm gonna have to take this whole shield off to take this shield off i gotta take a bunch of stuff off in the front I'm trying to avoid that um so i think i'm gonna see if i can get a puller and just see if i can pull that off i have pullers also this thing here was totally compacted it had a whole bunch of dirt and leaves and all kinds of junk in it i cleaned that out i mean it was compact and i used a screwdriver to get it out it was it, it was in there so bad so clean that out too when you take it off you'll see it'll, it'll just have a whole bunch of dirt and stuff in there you can see there's still some dirt there but let me get a puller i should be able to get a puller on in the with, with these screws here and, and put the middle there and just pull it right out. It should come right off. It, it moved a little bit, but I just can't get a, a bite on it. All right, here's a contraption I had. This is a steering wheel puller. And I used the existing bolts that were in here to hold, the, to hold the fan on. And I just got some bigger washers because these were gonna go right through. Just some washers I have laying around. And I just put steering wheel puller on there. It, I was trying to do it with a wrench and it just turns the whole engine. So I'm like, oh, just get the impact. Hit the impact on there, like one trigger, and it's popped it right off. So now let's see what we got here. This thing looks okay. The keyway looks fine. flywheel it's not all it's it's not I, the inside of here I'm looking on where the shaft goes it doesn't look bad the other thing I heard is that sometimes the magnet can lose over years it loses its magnetism so I don't know how strong it's supposed to be but I guess over time and plus it looks like it's scraped up I guess it hit I guess this thing hit it looks fine so I don't know I'm gonna order a new one of these hopefully it comes with a keyway I mean that one looks I think it looks fine I mean I don't see any damage or anything But hopefully when I order this, I'll have a new keyway. And I'll just try this. This is the last thing I can think of. Everything else works. It's getting spark, but not a lot of spark. So maybe 
that's that's what, what's happening there I, I don't know but there you go it's gonna be too can to be continued I, I need to order that part and we'll see where, where we're at look all the look all the stuff I had to take off so this is gonna sit here I don't know, I don't know for another I only have weekends to work on it and this has been another weekend I've been doing this for three weeks already all right let's see what happens I'm back on the blower hopefully this will, this will fix it um, I ordered a new flywheel I don't know the old here's the old flywheel it looks fine I mean it's scraped up here the magnets seem like they're okay to compare them you know how, how can I compare them to magnets I try to I mean this this looks fresh right um, the strength I put some bolts on it they both hold the same amount of bolts so I don't know I don't know if, if this the old one I don't know if this magnet is bad it's not giving a good spark whatever um, that's the old one it might still be good I have no idea um, anyway I so picked up a new one that's the part number good luck getting it I bought it it was hundred something dollars by the time they shipped it out they said it was two something and they had to get it so the price went up and they also said they didn't have this little keyway two dollars there's like two dollars for this tiny little piece of metal anyway apparently they had something that works I mean all it is just tiny little keyway so they sent that to I'm gonna pry this keyway out of here um, might as well use the new one put this on Put this all back together see if it runs with the new flywheel and keyway um yeah i mean this didn't look that bad it's not gouged or anything or worn out so i don't know i don't know what happened it's not running this is the, this is the last ditch effort if it doesn't run after i do this i don't know what i'm gonna do and <laughs> the whole thing's torn apart so let me start putting it back together Okay, I give up. I've replaced everything on this blower. I'm gonna add up how much it cost me to replace all this stuff and figure out if I just get a new one or if I bring it to a shop. I think it's time for a new one. I put new carburetor, new coil and wire. That's the new coil and wire. You saw, right at the beginning here I put a new flywheel um, it has gas I checked it has if it has spark I got shocked I took a took this off stuck an allen key in there put it put it like this and then like this cranked it over and there's spark and also you know I was holding it like this and I got shocked so I know the spark I thought maybe the switch was something screwed up turn the switch off guess what no spark which that's what's supposed to happen turn the switch back on and there's spark so it's getting spark it's obviously getting air um, it should be getting fuel even if I take um, starting fluid shoot it right in here it will not start but the drill on here this instead of pull this is instead of pull starting it forever I still have the pull start right there that will get put on i don't maybe it won't get put on i don't know but and i just you know turn it nope nothing happens i do feel air coming out of the exhaust so you know piston is going up and down which i knew it was but it's just, i don't know what the heck the problem is oh new gasket here new head gasket the piston looks okay everything looks fine it just will not start i don't know why I don't know what is going on it's very frustrating oh all right so it just kicked up kicked a little bit I saw some smoke come out maybe it is gonna start there's smoke coming out Let me turn the choke on I don't know if that's gonna help something happened it's the first time that happened Oh. 
Turn the choke off. It's got to be warmed up now. Piston's spinning like crazy. I'm pumping the bulb on the bottom. Force some gas in there. No, it just won't start. I don't know. I, I, and also, I adjusted the uh, the timing again to see if that was it. And that doesn't seem like that did anything. I'm at a loss. I don't know. This, I, I guess, this is gonna be uh, one of those jobs that doesn't get finished, and I just give up on. Because <laughs> soon I'm gonna have more into this thing than it's worth, and it's just a, a stupid blower. I was trying to save money, not spend money fixing an old one when I just get to go get a new one. So anyway, I don't know. I've got to figure out what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna end the video right now. I'm tired of messing with it. I'm gonna go move on to something else. All right. Well, thanks a lot for watching. This is my a failure of fixing the, the blower. If something happens where somehow I get it working, I will come back and um, show you what it was that, that fixed it. But I'm going to end this video. I tore this thing apart, I don't know, like five times. And it's not working. So at least maybe out of this video you got to see how this blower comes apart. And I didn't realize you could just use a drill. So that's something I learned. I was trying to pull start, pull start, but that was, that was a pain. Use the drill and uh, you know, you don't have to sit there and break your arm trying to start the stupid thing. <sighs> anyway, I'm done messing with it for now. I'm gonna let it sit, figure out what I'm gonna do. I have a backup blower that we're using and it kind of, it's not the best. It's a little handheld one, it works, but this is much better. So anyway, I'll see you in the next video. If uh, you have any comments, any ideas on how to get this thing running, see if you think I missed something, I well, should try something. Put it in the comments below, and I'll try it because right now I'm—I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, I put—I probably put like two hundred something dollars into this thing, and I'm what halfway there to buying a new one, which would—which I would have been okay with if it starts. It's not starting. So, anyway, let me know in the comments below if if you think there's something else I should do to this, um, or I just cut my losses and just go get another one. All right, thanks a lot. See you in the next video. Bye.